Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios. Today we're going to talk about seven quick things you can do to improve your game instantly. Let's be honest, a lot of men struggle with game or are new to it. If either of these things apply to you, then don't worry, that's what this guide is for. Try applying the things here and see your results improve with not much effort. Of course, life is not all easy. You're still going to be rejected, especially at the beginning if you're first trying these techniques. Fear not, however, you can succeed with enough practice. Enjoying my content? Check out my blog at heliosblog.com. On YouTube, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'm also on Spotify if you prefer a podcast. If you're interested in my books, The Strategist's Guide to Seduction and Quotes to Live By, they're available on Amazon. In addition, you can follow me on Patreon at The Helios Blog for exclusive content. On with the show. So number one. Do not compliment. A lot of men struggle with women because they are quickly put into the friend zone. You want to know why that is? It's because men compliment women too much. I'd say that you never compliment a woman on her appearance, and especially never do it if you haven't yet slept with her twice on two separate occasions. If you do compliment a woman's appearance, it instantly pushes the beta button. Give a woman enough beta tells and you're in the friend zone. If you have an abundance mentality, you'll never feel the need to compliment a woman, as you know that you're doing a woman a favor by being with them. Women sense and desire a strong male to be with them. It's very easy to come off as weak if you're constantly complimenting her. She should be complimenting you. Number two, on dates, lean back. A man who's confident does not feel the need to lean in on dates, or ever, really. He is relaxed, taking up as much space as possible. Women want to be with a man who's confident in his own skin. You think someone who's confident leans in? Leaning in subcommunicates that you need something from the other person. Do you need something from this girl in particular? No. If you consider the space you're in is truly yours, you relax and lean into it. That's what you should be doing. Lean back and take back as much space as possible. Just project your voice more if the place is loud that you're in. Don't worry if this girl doesn't work out as well. There will be more where that came from. Number three, always carry yourself with an upright, confident posture. You know how I'm always saying that you should work out or train at some kind of martial arts gym? Well, training constantly will improve your posture. Make sure that as you train, you work on your core especially. A strong core will give you an amazing, confident posture. Carrying yourself in an upright manner like that will cause you to feel more confident, and women will appreciate it as well. Here are three good rules of thumb for proper posture. Number one, imagine that you're squeezing a pop can between your shoulder blades. This will give you that nice puffed out chest look and will unslump your shoulders. Stare 1000 meters ahead. You should not be looking at the floor as you walk, but straight out in front of you. Number three, you should feel your core and your back engaged as you're standing in proper posture. Try holding your body in this posture for a whole day. What you'll notice is that you immediately feel more confident. Also, if you have a gut, standing in an upright posture will hide some of it. Obviously, if you're trying to seduce women, you shouldn't have a gut and should be working towards losing it. Number four, assume the sale. Seduction is like sales. You're trying to sell yourself as well as possible. Obviously, if the product you're trying to sell is yourself, you should believe that, you're, that the product you have is good. Believe in yourself and assume that others will like you for you as well. There are many women out there that would love to meet and be seduced by you. Don't be discouraged that one specific girl isn't interested. We have to follow the adage, if you don't believe in yourself, then who will? Ultimately, it's up to you to have the confidence to believe in yourself. When you feel it, the women you're interested in will feel it as well. This will improve your results greatly. Number five, speak in a more masculine way. Having a masculine, confident voice will help you greatly in your quest for seduction. Here are a few things to do to make your voice sound more masculine and to help you project it. So number one, try to speak in your lower range. Listen to your own voice and actively try to lower the tone you speak in. You'll see that it's in fact possible for you to speak a little lower than you currently do. Number two, speak slower. Rather than rushing to say everything, slow down. If you slow the speed of your speech by about 20%, you'll sound a lot more calm and confident. Number three, Put pauses in your speech. When you're speaking to someone, instead of saying, ah, uh, stop speaking for the entire time it takes you to think. 
This pregnant pause will make the things you say more compelling to listen to. If you're speaking with a group and you know they're listening, purposely pause before you say the thing you wanted to say. You'll feel them hang on your words. Try to project your voice from your diaphragm, number four. You want your voice to resonate with the help of your diaphragm. As you talk, put your hand over your chest. If your chest is vibrating as you talk, you're projecting properly. If your chest is not vibrating, it likely means you're projecting through your nose. Practice speaking from your chest and not your nose. Take a deep breath, number five, before you talk and breathe deeply in general. Taking a deep breath before you speak gives you the air to be able to project your voice the way you want to. You'll be able to generate a booming alpha voice this way. Practice all these tips and you'll quickly see a different voice come out of you, one that's much more masculine. You're welcome. Number six, on the first date with a girl, break the touch barrier. When you're out on your first date, you need to break the touch barrier. You start with places that are the least intimate first, and then as you feel more comfortable, you move on to slightly more intimate places. But Helios, how do I know when I should break the touch barrier? When you feel like things are going well in your conversation, you can throw some touching in the mix. Here are some uh, of the least intimate places for touch. So you could touch the left or right shoulder, the upper back, the outside of the hand. And here are slightly more intimate places, lower back, hands or fingers, hips. You're not going for any real intimate touching on the first date as it's not a good strategy. Many women will feel badly if you're too intimate too early and it will ruin your plans for getting a friends with benefits later. Instead, try to build rapport and break the touch barrier with the above areas. You'll be much more intimate on the second date. Number seven, disagree with her more. A lot of beta men struggle with being too much of a doormat. Betas agree with everything the girl says, kiss her ass, and her attraction drops like a stone. The truth is that disagreement does not hurt your chances of getting laid. An argument definitely will, before you've slept with her on two separate occasions, but not disagreement. You need to be your own man and stand strong. There should be certain things you believe in that no matter what anyone says, you'll never budge on. Being a strong man is extremely attractive and disagreement hints that you're strong. You're not going to agree with everything another person says. That's fine. Don't get into a shouting contest over it though. Please don't interpret this as me saying that you should insult women. An insulted woman will not sleep with you. Build rapport but disagree when you truly do. You'll be respected for it. Respect does get a man laid. Conclusion. Many men struggle, especially beta men, with game. The tips I've given you will help you greatly in that regard. To summarize, here are the seven things you can do to improve your game instantly. Number one, do not compliment. Number two, lean back. Number three, carry yourself with an upright, confident posture. Number four, assume the sale. Number five, modulate your voice. Number six, break the touch barrier. Number seven, disagree more. Practice these and also see my guide on starting from scratch. That will help as well. Good luck.